Hey everybody, it's me, Rainstorm. I know it's been forever since we've had one of these little discussions. I'm looking at like that, man. I should be looking at you. Uh, I also have a piece of crumb of my croissant. My croissant. Anyways, it's only mine that happens a lot, right? How much more IRL can you get? Anyways, it's been a long time since we've done this. Um, let's touch base. Uh, let's just be honest about a couple things and let's just clear the air. Um, the last sort of chunk of stuff that you guys have seen on Rainstorm has been hauls. Hauls and opening and shiny things and pretty things and oh my gosh, it's been a lot. And then it stopped and then there was nothing. You can't buy happiness. It's Money can make you happy because you don't have to worry about your bills. Um, you don't have to worry about where your next meal is coming from and all that good stuff. Um, but it can't buy you happiness. So when you're buying things to try to prove to other people that you're good enough, or are you buying things because you think it's going to fill a hole in you? It's not. I mean, the shiny things are nice and all that good stuff, but yeah. And I know I did say in a couple videos, I don't want you guys to ever feel like because you don't have this or that, that you guys aren't good enough. And I don't want you guys to feel that way about yourself. Um, no, I have shitty lighting. I always have shitty lighting, but this is real life, so such is life. Um, excuse me. It's so elegant. I don't know why. Um, and I mean that. Um, and I do believe that. And the backup version of this is kind of, I came out of a year where literally within like a couple of weeks, I lost a huge group of friends because the one friend that was like a sister to me um, that just she just like basically abandoned me I know I sound like dramatic but that's exactly what it was it was like I was going through so much stuff um, because of my I want to call him my ex but he, he is technically my ex but we haven't got the paperwork yet for it yeah, that's another story but anyways um, he decided that he wanted the house back that we shared custody of and that I had to get the hell out and there was a whole thing about having to um, move in with um, family which worked out real well because my dad's quite sick so he needed some help ends up needing some help so it worked out very well in that sense um, and I'm very grateful to have this space and I mean, I was going through because, you know, he, my ex was like, um, there were a lot of problems with like, you know, internet and phones and things getting paid and, um, obviously he didn't want to do it anymore. So anyways, uh, so I was kind of scrambling, like, where are, are my kid and I going to go live? What am I going to do? How am I going to make money? Um just all the crap that would go with that right I mean I'm sure you guys can even begin to imagine and look it's not his fault I mean he's just wanted to go a different way and we had had a very separate relationship for a very very long time I'm gonna be completely honest like I want to say like at least at least 10 years um, and I want to say more than that you know like we just we live separate lives completely so it wasn't unexpected, but it was unexpected because we had a the thing set up and uh, we had an agreement and that just kind of came out of nowhere. So, you know, no hard feelings to him. I'm glad he's happy now and I'm working on being happy and it's not because of anybody else but me. I went through this thing where after that, because I basically lost family, like bunch a bunch of family and a whole go and it was really hard and it threw me and it's like well what's wrong with me and there were stuff I needed to get like new like because we really didn't have anything when we came here and there was stuff I had to like take care of so um, and then it became well why not well why not well why not well why not and it became a very slippery slope and my uh, Munster shoes probably prove that to you guys because I, like, I have back I have a back injury walking in those does not happen for me yeah 
I don't I, I love them I wanted them since I was 16 and I have them and they're sitting in the box still so I kind of um, you know the expression snowball to hell that's kind of what my mental health did and that's kind of what my self-esteem did and that's kind of what my drive to do anything did and if you guys were following me on my gaming channel you know that stopped for like a year there was like nothing um, there were no updates there was nothing it was there was a promise at the start like okay I'm gonna come back I'm gonna I'm gonna come back and stream and it just I, I couldn't I couldn't get the traction I couldn't get my mind working properly to get by all of that because in my head it was like why wasn't I good enough especially for like my sister um, and that group of friends um, and it, just, it came out of the blue and it totally blindsided me and it hurt it hurt so bad like even now thinking about them they, like, she makes me cry more than my ex because my ex and I we, we put our distance between us like you know 10 12 years of living separately but you know we had the agreement worked out um, you know the funny thing is is if one of us had actually disappeared physically and nobody knew where to find us we could have declared the other one dead and we could have been like long done with this but anyways that's another thing for another it's it's it's, it's just a little joke um, I'm dead inside does that count I mean I don't know uh, <laughs> anyways um, so I basically took a header and I didn't ever want to tell you guys this I kind of touched on some of it and I'm still not really going into the details because frankly it doesn't matter it's been two years now and it, it still makes me cry thinking about her and that group and why it went south and what did I do and all this stuff but I'm, tr I'm getting back from there and I don't wish anybody bad I just I don't understand and it just it, it broke my heart it took so much out of me and it shook me because I was like I don't know what I did I don't know like I thought I was doing good I thought I was a good person I thought I was on the right track and this threw me for a loop a header and the year off was like from streaming and from you know really doing the podcasts and doing anything um, really threw me and I didn't know how to get that back again so I bought myself some shiny things and I thought well this is fun because I've never had these and I want to share these with people because maybe you know people wanted to buy from places and they weren't sure and that snowballed into basically you know a really big portion of my money went like bye like no bye 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 and you don't realize it when you're doing it you don't realize it because it's it's a it's a it's a it's like an addiction it's like a compulsion but you you know there were so many reasons behind it I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this and then they'll see I'm just as good as they are I can afford all the nice things they can and I can go all the places they can and I can do all the things they can and look at my shiny things because they're just as good as theirs and that makes me worthy and it became this grudge match to prove that I am good enough I have all the shiny things that I can have and they're just as good as yours and that's so wrong it's such a slippery slippery slope <laughs> because what ends up happening is you can't ever keep up with everybody you can't ever the only person you have to be good enough for is yourself I'm not saying don't improve I'm not saying don't strive for things but I'm saying strive for things for the right reasons and know that sometimes when people walk away from you it had nothing to do with you nothing it was them it was in them and it was something that there's nothing you could have ever done so just know that um, 
So why am I making this? I'm making this because I wanted to explain, number one, how we got where we got, what happened, and what the plans are. So, here we go. I don't know why my hands a lot today. Uh, I'm feeling mentally, I'm getting there. I'm getting, maybe not back to where I was before this, but I'm, I'm getting there. And you can say, well, it's been two years, get over yourself. I know, I tell myself that. It doesn't really work that way, but you know, um, cause I really don't want to be exactly who I was before. I want to be better than that. I want to be stronger than that. And yeah. Um, financially I'm done. I'm, I'm toasted. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'll just be totally honest with you. If you're expecting some really, uh, amazing hauls or fancy stuff, it's not going to happen. Um, and it wouldn't happen even if I did have the funds right now because I just came to realize like look this is nice yes it's good and you guys can see things that you um, like as an informational thing and I'm not knocking anybody who does it I don't want to be an influencer in that sense I don't want to try to think tell you on I want to tell you things that I enjoy I want to tell you things bring it back to where I intended this to be which is behind the scenes and things that I really enjoy using um, or wearing or eating or I don't know whatever but it's not about buying it's not about um, the consumerism that it has been about because that was about proving that I was good enough and I know with or without those things now I'm good enough and I'm never gonna be perfect and that's fine I'm perfectly imperfect and that's great by me um, so the plans going forward, um, I have been away from the stream the last three weeks. My back injury flared up and I could not sit. So there was really nothing I could do, which really that played on my mind, but that's okay. We're going to get through it. So we're at, we're going to be at about three or four days for streaming. Um, Three to five, I'll give it. Right now we're sitting at four. This will adjust depending. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody who has bought. Whether it was from the Reign of Iris shop, whether it was from Magpie Muddles, whether it was from Parapopolis, or whether it was from the Calamity Reign. Those are all on Redbubble. You can go check them out. Um, last night somebody bought two. I'm going to cry. I did um, you know my shirt the property of vault 101 onesies little baby onesies and I was like I haven't advertised any of these shops really and you guys have bought I mean not a ton of stuff and I don't make huge profits off of this but that's okay because I don't have to manufacture it you know I make the design and it's there and then you guys pick what you want it on and that's great and I'm happy for it um, cause it's not, it's, it's about the money. Cause yes, you need money to survive and put a roof over your head and pay for electricity and all that stuff. But I can't believe you guys want stuff that I made. I don't want to ugly cry, but it like means so much to me. And it means so much to me that you guys like come to the streams, you guys. You know, buy my designs, you guys. You know, read the blogs and watch the video. I have no words. So, thank you for putting up with this whole mess that's been going on. Victor, you are being a turdlet. If you've not met Victor on the streams, you know he's a turdlet. Um, he's a dog. Yeah. He's gonna really. Well, what you tell him? Only on my streams does this happen. Although it's not a stream, but it's recorded, but I'm, yeah, anyways. Um, thank you. Thank you for putting up with me. Thank you for going through all this with me. There's Victor. There's Victor's butt. Let's just block that out. I don't think y'all need to see Victor's butt. Victor, move your, move your big old butthole. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> It's getting there, I'm working on it, and I wanted you guys to kind of know. And there's no hard feelings to anybody who either wasn't able to like 
stay with the streams or come back to them because you know things have just changed there's no hard feelings to anybody who's not involved with me either in my life personally or through the streams or whatever um, like coming to sit the streams or whatever and there's no hard feelings if you guys aren't able to aren't able to um, purchase things I understand how money is money is tight it's really tight for a lot of people um, your support your time your you know retweets or likes on stuff thank you thank you all right if you have it and you the money and you're able to buy you know something I've designed thank you I mean that literally goes to you know paying for dog food for these weirdos him and his sister um, that goes for you know paying for my new phone which my dad got me which was super amazing and I'm very very blessed to I guess be at rock bottom mentally and emotionally and I mean even physically with my back and money wise and just still have this amazing support from like you guys and from you know my parents from my son and his girlfriend and um, from my best friend who I'd like to strangle sometimes but I mean sometimes they you do because they don't want to see you stop and you're just like <sighs> anyways um, thank you um, like I said, there's no hard feelings. I just kind of wanted to give you guys really like a, um, what's been going on, where we've been, where I, well, where I've been kind of sitting mentally, physically, emotionally, monetarily. I want to keep the Rainstorm channel. I want to keep it a real life channel. I want to come on and talk to you about maybe things that happened during the week. Um, like the games that I've played or um, the idea for where we're going to go with the blog or, you know, just little things. I don't know. But, um, the haul stuff, number one, I'm, I'm not doing hauls anymore. I'm not doing them for myself. I'm not out there aggressively purchasing. Um, I'm purchasing things. Well, I mean, not really anymore because of the money, but I'm, um, Anything you guys have bought from me goes back into, like I said, either taking care of the dogs or goes back into like, um, if I need actual things like for the stream, like if I need a new controller or I need, you know, a new wires or something. So you guys know how it is if you do, you know, there's tech. Um, it'll go towards the, you know, paying towards the phone and the phone bills and all that stuff. Um, so. And one day, it'll go towards um, an actual meetup and an actual event. And I'm really looking forward to that. And I honestly really do believe, maybe for the first time in a long time, that that's something that's possible. And that's a really great feeling. So, yeah. Uh, it's almost 20 minutes. I think it's time for us to go. I didn't mean to babble on this long. But listen, thank you so much. Um, I mean, even to the people who, who like walked away in my life, like, you know what? You guys taught me some of the biggest lessons and it crushed me and it hurt me, but you know what? I, it made me, it's making me stronger. And I just want you guys to know that fact that sometimes when people leave your life, it has nothing to do with you. And also, the pile of shiny things that you have does not make you better than anybody else. Does not make you worse than anybody else. Um, but the pile of shiny things is really not what it's about. It's about being a decent person and treating everybody the way you want to be treated. So, in full disclosure and in just kind of touching base with you, I just wanted to kind of lay it out. I've been embarrassed, especially about the mental health part of it, um, but 
I don't think it's anything to be embarrassed about. And I don't want you to be embarrassed about it either. So, yeah. Love me, hate me, don't like the video. I don't know. I just kind of wanted to put it out there. So, Parapopolis will be coming back. Maybe on a much less regular basis, like maybe monthly. But I do miss doing it, so I would like to do that. The streams will be staying. They will not be going anywhere. Um, I'm going to try to get back to just playing for fun. As opposed to just being so upset with myself that I'm not doing better. I'm not doing enough. It's not going right. I'm not doing it right. That's I'm going to try to get back to the way I started, which was playing for fun. What's the other thing? I'm not trying to flip you to bird. Um, the designs. I'm going to look at trying to come up with a regular release for them. Um, whether it's bi-weekly or it's monthly or it's weekly I, I'm gonna work on that very much and also the YouTube archives for Calamity Rain I'm gonna work on those as well so getting those going again even though YouTube's kind of I don't know how useful it is for you guys to have them but I like having them there so I'm gonna do it for me I guess that's it. Oh, and the photo, find my pixel site. Uh, that's got to get updated as well. It's getting there. I've cleaned up a nice pile on my desk and we'll take it together in little chunks. So thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being amazing. Thank you for putting up with the ups and downs. It has been the last, well, since what? The start of 2017. It's time to kind of kick the, the, the grass over that and move on, I think. Because, yeah. So, thank you. It's a work in progress. I am working on it, but I wanted to let you know. I swear, now I'm going to go. Um, links are off to the side, or if I got really ambitious, they're in the bottom, or something like that. And um, the blog is there, the main blog, which needs to be updated. I know. I know. No, I look at stuff and it's like I'm trying so super hard to not just ignore it like I see it I know I messed up I know things need to be updated I know I've neglected some stuff but I'm not gonna let it overwhelm me I'm gonna try to do it little by little by little and I want to kind of inspire you guys so that if you're kind of in the same kind of mental like oh my gosh little by little we're gonna do it little by little by little and then it'll all get done and we're not going to overwhelm ourselves and we're not going to feel like absolute poop about ourselves and that's how we're going to do it. Uh, in other news, hello Keanu Reeves in Cyberpunk. That is That game looked amazing and the fact that Mr. Reeves is in it, uh, I think it's going to be a great character. But that's a whole other thing and we'll maybe talk about that on the Calamity Rain channel and um, stream or something. And, yeah. Uh, you guys want to find a way and you're looking to play some new games I know this isn't the, the gaming channel um, but I am a humble partner humble bundle partner humble partner yeah um, and they're having a city builder weekend if I get this up which I will endeavor to it ends uh, Monday June the 17th at 10 a.m. Pacific and I'll put my little humble bundle partner affiliate link um, and you guys can take advantage of that if you happen to see it during the time that it's there. And if not, you know what? No worries. I... I don't know. There's other things I'm sure I should say, but I'm looking at the time as this is doing it and I'm like, no, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. We need to stop now. So we will. Um, I promise I will come back. We will do this on a much more regular basis. Um, I'm trying to do it a little bit slower so it's not overwhelming and it's not so much and it's not like ah, ah. It's my description. You can use it if you want and uh, Yeah, so I Hope you guys enjoy it. My piercings I did are here healing very well I just to let you know in case you saw that and you guys were like I wonder how that's going um, Still very awkward with the camera. I'm sorry. It it's me, I'm awkward, what can I tell you? Um, so I hope you guys are having a good, things are good for you. Um, 
I gotta go take care of some dog stuff here. Take them out and do some do some belly rubs. Because every dog needs a belly rub. And uh Yeah, I will see you guys either on Calamity Rain, I'll see you in the shops, I'll see you uh I'll see you around. Do you guys know? Links are there, find me. Um so hi and I hope if this helped you in any way and made you feel um I know it's not the right words, but slightly less eh about yourself. I hope that it did. Because, you know what? I'm not perfect. I don't think anybody is. And I pride myself on not being edited and not being polished and being awkward and having just mistakes and things go wrong. Because that's life. And I don't think we see enough of that. And I think we need to see more of it. Because that's reality. Nobody's life is perfect. Even the person who has like the amazing life. And money in the bank. And great um, you know, support. And wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Even they have really crap days. So I think we need to realize that a little bit more. And in full disclosure, I think saying things like, you know what, mentally, my health was not good. Um, I think that makes it less of a stigma for everybody so anyways uh that's it i'm gonna go I'm, I'm going because it's been too long and it's been too long since i've been here so yeah it's long but yeah um i will see you guys uh links are there hang out if you can and uh i'm gonna go so i can get this up and I, that whole thing about hey you want to go do a city builder thing is not totally useless i mean yeah, it's whatever. anyways i'll see you guys uh, you guys are watching this later. The Humble Bundle thing still, but it just won't be the city builder. You could just go and go through the link and, you know, if you're into that, you could books or software, or video games or whatever. Um, but you don't have to. Please don't ever feel like you do. Um, but it's there if you want to use it. Just probably, won't, it won't be for the city builder um, if it's not during that time. Yeah. Um, and a full disclosure on that, I do get a small percentage of monetary compensation for being a Humble Partner. Um, doesn't take away from the charity that, you know, Humble Bundle is all about. Uh, it's just sort of a thank you for me letting people know about. So, full disclosure. Um, and I also in full disclosure, none of this is ever paid. This is all about me. This is all about my opinions. This is real life. So, yeah. All right. Uh, what was that? 20 minutes ago? <laughs> Let's GTFO because it, I will talk to you forever and you will hate me. You might already, but that's okay. It's okay, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I'm a big mofo cup of coffee. And I kind of look like a little panda bear. This is like my little my little Leia panda bear thing going on today with my snow white kind of look. Because I have on blue jeans and a yellow top. I know it's for, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go now. I'll see you guys soon.